Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And it's been a glorious Labor Day weekend, hasn't it, folks? Hasn't it? <sighs> People with their nonstop videos about my size chicken or canned and it's working. Uh people Oh yeah. Oh, we're in big Syria. It's good news there, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, if that's so good enough, I decided to make a video about that. No, 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 come back. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I've heard about it. I'm sure you've heard about it. We've all heard about it. Let's just get this video over with. As you guys know what's going to happen, uh, I might say. Right? Come on! Okay. First to start off with, yeah, I watched Arch Beans, I watched Amazing Atheist, and he brought up some good points. Hints about what, you know, how America's already shaping its mind on social media websites and YouTube and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, my point of view with the whole thing is, I kind of feel like, one, America, aren't we policing enough countries as it is? Yes, I understand. What happens there will negatively affect us here. So, yes, good job. But, I think you need to start pulling out. At least out of one war, so we can help fix another. Then, also on the other side, Amazing Atheist brought up a good point in his video about, sorry, batting flies all day, so I've been having this weird psychiatric tick where I think some flies decide to lay on my neck. Oof, sweat. Oof, do yourself a favor. Um, if you own a cat, make sure he stays in the box. Nice. Okay. Anyways. Yes. <sighs> Anyways, back to what, I, what I'm saying. Hey. Yes, the Syria. Oh, yes. What Amazing Atheist said about... Is that everyone keeps coming up with their own little... You know, conspiracy theories. And, I will say, I came up with my own, with the help of Davis Marini. I apologize if I did not say his name correctly. But, yes, Davis Marini made some good points. He brought up the whole oil issue. Not like I haven't heard that theory a thousand times. But, I agreed with it because it seemed like a legit theory. Because... Yeah, we keep saying we're getting off that foreign oil. Yeah, we keep fighting in a lot of wars to get that oil. So, yeah. But we also have plenty of oil here. So, uh, even though I can't imagine America wanting to ruin its own landscape, let alone ruin it. Now, Canada, I can believe. And I just, I love Canada and. I don't, it's not that I want to ruin Canada, it's not that at all, actually, I was about to say. Because I love Canada, and I mean, I love it. I can honestly believe America trying to ruin it. <sighs> However, I don't quite understand us hating it. We just do. <laughs> but, uh... Why? Well, sorry. I'll try to be serious. But at the same time, they also brought up about how we don't believe the government and media and stuff like that, which it's fair to say. It's, yeah, I have a hard time believing the media, especially the news media, because it's so biased. So I kind of feel 
like I'm only getting half of my story, and for some reason it's being filled in by the Young Turks. So I still trust the news. I just wish it was a little bit more like that. But you know, I kind of understand their business, and that's the thing. I look at it that way. I look at it as their business. They're doing their job. I don't hate them. I wish they could get out of their little bias slot and do good things and help others too a little bit more instead of being so one-sided where, oh, okay, we're for the feminist movement, so we'll have uh, stupid, drunk women, you know, talking about mindless things. <laughs> and that'll make people laugh. Uh, at the same time, I wouldn't have Al with his, his, you know, welcome to, oh, sorry, Al, here's what's going on, uh, in your neck of the woods, that's a good morning salute. So, okay, I respect that. Still don't understand why we have to be so biased and why we won't talk about it. Within death, maybe what I'm watching is not fulfilled. Maybe I believe way too much of the liberal media that I watch here on YouTube. Not saying I don't like the Young Turks. I love the Young Turks. But it was never going to end up on television. <laughs> Even though they're really not that bad. They're really very good. But, but however, uh, thousands of people are creating their own conspiracy theories that make no sense. I. Wish I could name a few, but not pop off the top of my head, except that Putin and Barack Obama, that, uh, oh, Barack Obama's a terrorist, or something like that. That one's, like, the most illegitimate one that I could possibly think of. Yes, but, still. And yet, yet, folks, we live here in the 21st century. Conspiracy theories woke up. And I will not, I have my own conspiracy theory. I have my own beliefs and thinking too. So, yeah. If I had a conspiracy theory, the only thing I can think of is oil. Is they're going over there because, of course, that's why we're paying so much money to. For, for oil, it used to be a dollar, folks. A dollar. But not anymore. Yeah. Huh? Do this struggle. Sorry. That was getting a call. I won't talk right now, anyways. But. However, people. Anyways. I will be right back with another video I'm talking about my uh, points and views on shut up phone trying to do a video okay. talking about my points of the LGBT community anyways this is Evelyn Romale telling you to follow me on my Tumblr my Twitter at Science.